didn't imagine that we'll be working together, you know, as a husband and wife. I used to like tease him, like, hey, um, ask your company if I can join. He would just, no, 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 <laughs> no husband and wife allowed in one company. Yes, at the end of the day, you are just beside me right now. <laughs> Hi, my name is Aidil and this is my wife, Hasriya, and we are the owner of Warisan Kampung. We are at Block 138, Tampines Street 11. Inside Kim Sun Lane Inside Kim Sun Lane Coffee Shop. We sell uh, authentic Malacan Asam Pedas clay pot. We have a variety of uh, Asam Pedas cuisines, uh, ranging from uh, stingray, golden snapper, um, beef and also chicken. Asam Pedas is actually a spicy tamarind gravy. Um, it's, it's a kind of broth. It dates back to my late grandmother's secret recipe. My late grandmother actually hailed from Malacca. So I just want to continue the legacy of her cooking. She's the very caring, most understanding grandma I've ever had. The way she treats us to become a good person is tremendous. One of the unique things about our dishes is that we use more than 24 ingredients. The authentic Malacan Asam Pedas is different from those other Asam Pedas that you can find at Nasi Padang Sauce. It's because of the two, these two main ingredients uh, which is used in Malacan Asam Pedas which is the uh, halber of fenugreek. fenugreek and also the perisic or in English it's uh, grated uh, coconut no, eh, no, oil. oil. I think that was 13 years ago. Uh, 13 years so, ago. 13 years ago. <laughs> we met with a friend. Yeah, and then it kind of kick off from there. And he's been he's been telling me that he wants to open up his own stall. At first he was selling nasi ayam. And then as time goes by, we had our own jobs. I was working with Shell Aviation. I was a finance manager in a, in a Netherlands company, an MNC. Covid hits, and then he said, "I think it's time. You know, it's now or never." Do or die. Do or die. <laughs> so he said, "Okay, let's introduce my late grandmother's uh, asam pedas Malacca. We tried last year. We tried to, you know, to introduce to all the residents here. The response is very good. <laughs> it's very overwhelming. We didn't have the background in F&B. However," His mom my mom and mom. my late grandmother, they used to have a stall back then. A nasi padang stall. Uh, a nasi padang stall. Uh. So basically, we had a few hands-on experiences. Uh. And then we have our mother-in-law, um, sorry, my mother-in-law, which is his mom, uh, who is very supportive and also his aunt back there. Uh, yeah, so they kind of guide us through. In the early morning, we will need to prepare the broth uh, for our fishes, the fish broth. Um, as well as the other, the beef and the chicken are some pedas broth. Other than that is the prepping of uh, all the, what do you call it, the side dishes the side for the dishes. rice sets. And then uh, at 12 p.m. we will start to be open to public. Sometimes our shop will be sold out by 5 p.m. So roughly we'll be in the stall around 8 to 10 hours, uh, 8 to 12 hours. Uh. Mostly Singaporean, they like hawker food. They like it very much for the affordability rather than going to the restaurant with the skyrocket price. So for us, why not we started at Hawker for the time being? Gain experience, gain more insights, and, you know, observe our surroundings, do more R&D before basically jumping to the next step. Lah. Our store is not a nasi padang store. So our fishes are fresh. We don't cook our fish beforehand. Sometimes our duration of waiting waiting time, waiting time can be up to two hours. Can be up to two hours. Especially over the weekend. Please bear with us lah. That's all we can say. We get to to meet new people and new friends when customers keep returning and they had that bond with you. Basically, we are happy to see our customers happy with our food. Lah. They did uh, compliment things such as uh, they've never uh, tasted this kind of asam pedas before. It's something new to them. Probably because they've never been to Malacca. But other than that, we also have Malaysian customers. Some of them who are Malaccan themselves. And when they savour our asam pedas, right, even they said 
even in Malacca, it's difficult to find a taste like ours. And they keep coming back and they keep calling all their Malaysian friends. Yeah. When they keep returning, plus when they ordered like, you know, like um, bulk fuels, orders. yeah, bulk orders, and then they will tell us, oh, I'm going to give this to my neighbors, I'm going to give this to my in-laws, and have them try your dish. Indirectly, they're actually helping us in marketing our foods. We believe in words of mouth and, you know, like people testing rather than pay for advertisements and that. We, we don't do that. Our plan uh, is actually to open our own restaurant, a small, a small restaurant. Uh, that has been our dream back then. Who knows, maybe this coming few years, our dream will be achieved. Thank you to everyone who has stayed true to us from the start of our stall. Till now. We are truly grateful for all of your support and your love and your encouragement as well as motivation. Feel free to drop by if you are nearby here. Thank you.